Hello, hello, Zenful Mamas. Hope you are all having a wonderful day. So I realized that a lot of my issues with people, with my kids, with my husband, with friends, with acquaintances, with people I encounter in the street, have to do with expectations. Stuff that I'm expecting them to do or expecting them to say or a way that I'm expecting them to behave. And when that doesn't happen, then I get disappointed, I get upset, I get frustrated, uh, etc. Sometimes I get happy, right? But um, a lot has to do with our expectations. So this weekend I had this issue going on and I realized that it really was not an issue. It became an issue because what I expected to happen did not happen. It's kind of like when I expect my kids to pick up after themselves, to um, do their homework at a certain time, when I expect my husband to uh, do some chores around the house. But many times I don't make sure I say what I need and I just assume that they know because in my head I'm expecting it, right? So it becomes a little bit like... um like a vicious cycle of expectations and then not communicating properly, not saying what I would like and then getting upset because what's, you know, what, what in my head is supposed to happen is not really happening. So one of the things that I've been practicing, especially in my household, to avoid certain disagreements or certain issues that really can be avoided if I improve my communication skills is to stop expecting things from other people. I can be hopeful, uh, I can be grateful, but for me, when I expect is when I'm just lining up for disappointment and for um, getting upset. So I've tried to see it from a different point of view where I'm not expecting, but I'm, I'm trying to do a better job in communicating. So I guess what I would love for you, Sinful Mamas, to just notice is how much are you expecting from other people? How much are you expecting from yourself? Because this also happens with ourselves when we expect ourselves to act a certain way, do a certain thing, accomplish an amount of things in one day. Um, and we don't really stop to realize what we need, what what our body's asking for, or a time out, or um, a time to rest for ourselves. So my invitation to you today is to look a little bit within and see how you relate with expectations. What, what are your expectations about your life and how expectations or what you expect are one of the reasons why there is conflict in you or one of the reasons why you end up getting upset about the way your kids behave or the way they're not behaving and how much are you actually communicating with them for what you need, asking them for what you need or what you would like them to help you do or help you deal with. So I'm working on my relationship with expectations. What is your relationship with expectations? Have a wonderful day, Zenful Mamas. Bye-bye.